this approaching in her own. And now the first part of Old Garden, New Gardener, a new series in which Jeff Hamilton and Gay Search tackle the kind of problems you're likely to face when you take over an existing garden and show how to turn it relatively quickly and cheaply into a source of delight. scene that's repeated up and down the country every day of the week. You're moving into a new home, but it's an older house and there's a fair amount of work to be done. And while you've got bags of enthusiasm and lots of ideas, you're both working so you don't have a lot of time and almost all your cash has gone on the house. And because it is an older house, there'll be an existing garden. And particularly if you're a new gardener, you could be forgiven for hoping that the previous owners were very keen and they've done all the donkey work leaving you with a well-planned, well-maintained garden that's just ready to enjoy. But this is the kind of garden you're likely to inherit. Once upon a time, it was probably quite nice. There's a structure to it, and there are still some quite nice plants. But it's been neglected over the years. The lawn, well, you can't really call it a lawn anymore. All the fine grass has been killed off by tussocks of coarse grass. And this strawberry bed, it's just so overgrown now that it just won't give you any fruit at all. There are lots of trees in the garden.